Hi guys, we're back, and this time I'm going to steam cloud what? Sure. We're so going to kill them. Gotta kill them this time. Fuck this shit. Okay. This way. No. <laughs> Bitch. Aha. Fuck yeah. Rather epic. Can can I like? <gasps> I see something there. Shit! I think I see something here. <gasps> I thought I did, but I was wrong. Damn it! Yes! Now there probably will be one more out of batteries. I thought I saw something here, but I was apparently wrong. Heal in light! Oh, I can open. Open! Batteries. A flare gun. Okay. Get it. Um. Fuck it. Ow. Fuck yeah! Reload! Okay, I'm sort of dying here. Light! No! I need to get the light! Light! Yes, I no! <sighs> yeah, maybe you can, maybe not. I will fucking run. Fuck this. I'm running way too slow. Oh shit! Stop throwing cars! Alan, you need to, like, make your character have a, a weak point. Get in here. Don't look behind you. Just run. <sighs> Fucking run. Run. Faster. Okay, okay, okay. We did it. We do it. We did it. Yes. Yes. No. And who are you? Alan, wake up. Oh. Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. He's like, where? Hi, 
fresh seafood. For everyone! I don't even know why I have this weird voice today. I'm just weird. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman. I want a shot of you. Put on in the background. All right. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A Hi. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying this, I, I'm Pat Maine, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm Alan. Are you hitting on my wife? I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I thought we were going to act like we were on vacation. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. I see you made a friend. That's cute. Yes. Right. Good for you. Yeah? Hey, bestseller! Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back. You're not even there yet. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> like you know a father. He's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? <laughs> Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Of course he does. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can drive. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Okay. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. You're so romantic. Could have at least kissed her. Still places like this, towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for. Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know she looks like a slut. Time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I can't believe it. I got all of your books. Whatever. I got the cut out from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. I mean, look at this guy. Uh, right. So much <laughs> Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart. Do me when a you favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. What? Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad <laughs> circulation. Don't yeah. go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. I think you should look. I think you should, li I think you should listen to that girl, woman. Lady, whatever. Don't go to dark places. Don't go. You can fall. Hello. Hello. Leave him alone. Mr. Stucky. 
Oh, Paul shit. couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. <laughs> I insist. Thanks. Why is everyone hitting on my wife? I look. I like his disgusted. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. And she looks at my crouch. Okay, I, I'm leaving. I don't want to be in the dark anymore. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn, aren't you? The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered mm. off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. All oh, right. Maybe it can sing us a lullaby or something. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! What? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. It. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. It seems that you're kind of popular anyway. I would love to go there too. It's beautiful. Look at the place! Wow. It's gorgeous, Alice. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. All right. I don't like darkness either. Bird like cabin. Well, ain't that nice? Looks like a face. Mm-hmm. Oh, honey, ain't this adorable? It's so pretty. It looks like my vacation place in real life. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. Why don't I go? Oh, 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 sorry. I was just stupid. Let me go in. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure Have out light. To the power on, honey? Yeah. Get the power on, cause we're the man. And Hello? Hello? Anyone here? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Me neither. Okay. Why do you think someone would be here, idiot? You're supposed to live here. Ooh, Thomas! In case of sudden. Need of coffee. I have a feeling we should go in here, maybe. No? No. Okay. Whoa, shit. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Ah. Damn. The cabin was 
like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Somewhere on the island. If I would, they usually had it in like the house. But okay. Fuck. Where am I going? There's probably nothing here. Right. I love this view. I love this game right now because it's so beautiful everywhere. So beautiful. Don't you agree? There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Okay. I trust you, honey. Mm. Then how do? Where's the door? Fuck with that. Old generator had been connected to the power grid. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly. Boop, boop. Now we have light, darling. The lights are on. That's Yay! Hard, Get in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Oh, sir. Oh? It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. All right. Uh, my friend is talking to me from Steam. But I can't play Left 4 Dead 2 right now because I'm busy with Alice? enjoying Honey? this wonderful place with my wife. Honey! Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise Honey. for you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, 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 I love this. Well, hello there. Oh, hi. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. I, now I'm disappointed. <gasps> surprise! Oh my. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small <laughs> confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it, Alice, you, everyone Hey, 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 just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? That was fucking scary. Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Fuck you, Alan. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? <laughs> Cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Go save your wife now. Help! Oh shit! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No! What the hell? Alan! Help me! I'm coming, honey. Alan! Don't. No! No! If you if you shut your eyes, you won't be able to see the darkness, honey.
Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Alright guys. We're going to end it here. And... Uh, Next time I'm trying to figure out what happened to Alice. I love the story, I love the views, I, I fucking love this game. I really do. Even though I suck at it. I'm sorry guys for that. But yeah. Bear with me. This was awesome!